Hello, my name is Bob Devin Jones and I want to welcome you to St. Petersburg where the sun always shines, except at night. There are a lot of creative people who live in St. Petersburg, and as a result of that, it just seems to now reflect that reality. The arts have exploded, and since there's something nutritious in the arts for everybody, everybody can access them. Well, I'm a dazzling urbanite from Los Angeles, been here in St. Petersburg, Florida for 17 years. Studio at 620, a sort of a multidisciplinary art venue. We do theater, we do film, we do dance, we do art shows. There's going to be a seamlessness to what's delicious about St. Petersburg, and that's starting to grow and flower. A must-see museum, if you're in St. Petersburg, is that sort of one of a kind. The Dali certainly fits that bill. Not only the architecture, but the art that's contained in it and the depth of it. So you get to see Dali and then they have traveling exhibitions like now they have Warhol. It's extraordinarily delicious. And the Carter G. Whitson is a must-see museum because it's a little tucked away museum in the midtown area of our city. Their exhibits are very eclectic and they've just gotten better and better and better and better. The gardens at the Carter G. Woodson, it's like a mini oasis. And before it was gardens, it was just a field. But we all know best discoveries are discovered and this would be one to discover in an out of the way place. The best place to people watch in all of St. Pete is Beach Drive because all of the restaurants on Beach Drive have outdoor tables. For cocktails, I love cassis. It's gorgeous, the people are gorgeous. The canopy, because you're on an upstairs prow like on the ship. And then Trist reminds me of Collins Avenue in Miami. It's just bustling. And it's on the waterfront, so it's lovely. A real cute gay bed and breakfast is Gay St. Pete House. It has a pool, has a couple of cabana type cottages and a main house. It's very good. And then there's the Dickens House. It's, you know, very traditional. And it's very close to downtown and very convenient. So those are two that I would recommend. Well, there are so many great restaurants in St. Petersburg one of the best restaurants. It's Rococo Steakhouse because we don't have another steakhouse downtown. Try to resist it, you can't, so you don't try. The best brunch in town, again, there are many choices, but familiarity breeds being like it's at home. And so banging is like it's being at home. They know exactly what you want. The food is consistent. I had breakfast there this morning. A nice, quiet beach would be Fort DeSoto on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon. It's beautiful, the water's nice and blue-green, long, expansive beach. And I think it's been named number one on somebody's poll. Fort DeSoto was used back when Spain ruled all this. If you can see a patch of blue, not only in the sky, but at the shoreline, it can be out there for hours. What I find is so delicious about St. Petersburg, there are a lot of artists here who have decided this is where they want to be, and more have come. But the great thing is, there's Central Avenue. It's a must-see any time of the year. There's an excellent men's resale shop further up Central called Mr. B's. It's vintage and contemporary. 
I think you would find something at Miss Red. And they have great things for women. If you have a happy sensibility, if not to say gay, the Flamingo Resort is a happening place. And I hear they have an extraordinary DJ. You can't go wrong. You don't get to be number one by not giving the people exactly what they want and more. George's Alibi, everybody goes there. A lot of people are becoming body conscious, and so there are a lot of fitness gyms that have opened around the city, and I think Bull Fitness is one of the best. If you want to see an iconic neighborhood, which is right adjacent to downtown, Rosier Park, which has hills like that you think you're in San Francisco. It's quiet, it's green, so it's lovely. There's something magical about the great renaissance that's happening in the city over the last 10 years. So it's not only a burst of activity, it's been sustained. Everything is possible, and what's really good about the future. In St. Petersburg, 